Welcome everyone to our brand new series of parasitology. Here we will review all the medically important parasites gradually. So let's start today with a brief introduction to parasitology. So hearing the word parasitology, you all might wondering what is parasite? Okay, I know Nan is asking the question because everyone knows parasite is a award winning movie. Oops, no, no, no. In microbiology, parasite is a living organism that receives nourishment and shelter from another organism where it lives. We all know that to survive in this beautiful earth, every organism needs a safe environment to live in and needs food and nutrition for energy. And those organisms who can't earn all this by its own they have to depend on others and they are simply called parasite. Now parasite can be of various kinds like if the parasite lives outside on the surface of the host body we call them ectoparasite like the lice, ticks, sarcoptes scabby causing scabies. Again if the parasite lives inside of the body of the host we call them endoparasite, like the most of the parasites of human body, uh, the Leishmania, the Plasmodium or Entamoeba, etc. Then if the parasite visits the host for a very short period of time, we call it a temporary parasite, like the bed bugs. We all know that bed bugs attacks human only when it needs the food after feeding it leaves the host so we call them temporary parasite but if any parasite lives inside the host for the whole period of its life we can call them permanent parasite like each mite or fluke then there are some cunning parasites who can live both free life and parasitic life depending on the opportunity it gets and we call them facultative parasite like the acanthamoeba or the free living amoeba they live a free life but when they get the opportunity to infect human they act as a facultative parasite and if any parasite cannot exist without a parasitic life in host it's called obligatory parasite this means they must need to depend on the host to survive like the plasmodium or entamoeba etc most of the parasites then if the parasite infect an unusual host accidentally which it doesn't attack usually then we call them accidental or occasional parasite like echinococcus granulosus in human and if a parasite infects a host uh, where they can neither live nor develop, we call them aberrant or wandering parasite, like the Toxocara in human. So the difference in accidental and aberrant parasite is they both attack uh, an unusual host, but the accidental parasite can complete its life cycle in that host, but the aberrant parasite cannot. Now we have talked about the term host many times till now. So what is a host? A host is an or organism that harbors the parasite and provides nourishment and shelter. We said before that parasite cannot live by its own. So it needs to depend on others and, the, and on whom the parasite depends is our host. Host can be of different kinds like the definitive host. To be the definitive host, uh, or an organism need to uh, satisfy one of the following two criteria, like either it needs to harbor the adult stage of parasite or the parasite must undergo the sexual method of replication in definitive host. So for example, we can uh, simply remember that man is the definitive host for almost 
uh, all of the parasites except plasmodium and echinococcus. So, and next the intermediate host is completely different from the definitive host, it is opposite. So, it either harbors the larval stage of parasite or the parasite undergoes asexual method of reproduction. As we said earlier that man is the definitive host for all except the plasmodium. So, man is the intermediate host for plasmodium. Now, paratonic or carrier or transport host. There the host where the parasite lives without further development. This means inside them parasite won't develop but they will act as a source of transmission for the parasite. Like Diphylobotrium latum is a parasite of small fish, but when a big fish eats a small fish, the Diphylobotrium latum enters in the big fish and the big fish acts as a paratonic or transport host for that parasite. Now the accidental or deadened host are the host where the parasite does not develop usually but occasionally can infect them accidentally with or without complete life cycle. But in accidental host once the parasite enters inside him it cannot come out. So they cannot act as a source of transmission. So the parasite's life cycle comes to an end here. That is why it is also called dead end host. Like man for echinococcus and lastly the reservoir host so here the parasite lives for a long time and they act as a source of infection thus they are called reservoir host like dog for leishmania donovani now we understand that the parasites live inside the host but what is the relationship between host and parasite during this living? Are they a happy couple or they want a breakup? So their relationship can be of three types like symbiosis, commensalism or parasitism. Symbiosis or mutualism is a association between two organisms where both depends on each other in a in such a way that one cannot live without the help of the other but one never causes any harm to the other so in symbiosis both are benefited by each other and no one receives any harm like the rumen protozoa in termite so what happens here the Rumen protozoa lives in the intestine of termite, so the termite provides a safe environment or shelter for the rumen protozoa and the rumen protozoa in return gives the enzyme to digest cellulose for termite. Then commensalism is an association between two organisms where only the parasite gets benefit. The host gets nothing but the parasite never causes any harm to the host like the non-pathogenic intestinal protozoa in man. They live inside the man but they never cause any disease. And lastly the parasitism. It is uh, also kind of like uh, commensalism as only the parasite gets benefit here but in parasitism the parasite always causes injury to the host. So they are like a two-edged swords. They, the parasite will derive benefit from the host and also cause harm to the host. Like most of the pa pathogenic parasites of human, uh, we know. So mm, that is it for today. Uh, see you in the next episode. Till then, stay safe. If you find this video helpful, Please like and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon 
to get notification about our upcoming videos right at the moment it's uploaded. You can also follow our Facebook page, group and our very own Callosan BD website to see our latest educational blogs and to know about our upcoming events and fests. Thank you.